Hello, 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 and how are you? Good morning. I am Miss Marsha from the Sedona Library, and this morning I am doing a story time for toddlers, kind of um, six months ish, but younger, younger can still do these stories. But, you know, six months-ish to up through two, and I am sitting in front of our board book collection. And a lot of people don't know what's here because it's around the corner, and you don't really see it. These books that are over here are just, well, they're for toddlers. Other kids can read them. They can. But the reason why we call them board books is because they've got fat, thick pages. So you can give the books to a baby or a toddler and you don't have to worry about ripping the pages. And you know, it even is okay if they put the books in their mouth because they like to explore. They explore with their toes and their fingers and their hands and they explore with their mouth. So if they do that, just wash the book. That's all. It should be okay. It should be okay. So the book, well, first of all, I want to tell you about Baby Bug. Baby Bug is a kind of a thick paged, short magazine form that comes um, every two months. If you have a grandma, grandpa, or godparents, or somebody who lives far away and can't see you, this would be a super, super subscription gift to give a toddler. And then when, as they get older, there are other magazines, but this is called Baby Bug, and it is by the um, Cricket. Cricket. And we have them in the library. Okay, so. That's my one thing that I, I really, really, I'll talk about it another time. But it's a wonderful little magazine format for little ones. Okay, did you know this is a book? Look at, look at, look at how long it is. I'm going to read this book. I'm going to read this long, long, long book to you. See? Look at how it looks. It's called Tummy Time. And I'm going to read you parts of it. Pat Brisson is the author. And it's called Tummy Time. And I think what would be fun is if you put baby on a blanket on the floor and then you opened it up and look at those pictures of other babies. <gasps> I see you're on your tummy. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Let's find this. Now's the time, now's the time to push up high. Maybe you can even fly. Can you do that? Look at that, look at that. Lift up your head. You'll grow even stronger. Every day when tummy time friends Come out to play. Look at the kids. Look at them. And this is something that toddlers love. They love photographs of other babies and of themselves. Here, I'm going to read it this way. I see you're on your tummy too. We're glad to be here with you. Look at those kids. Look at those babies. This is kind of hard to kind of hard to read this book with the camera. Lift up your head. <gasps> Look up. And you will find what will you find? <gasps> Some friends have come over for tummy time. Look at them smile. They have sparkly eyes and I can see some of them have teeth. Yeah. So that's called Tummy Time Friends. And it's an excellent way to introduce books, um, 
rhyming, there's rhyming in this, early literacy and exposing your children at three months old to books is very, very important. It's a very important step in early literacy. You're not teaching your child how to read, but you're introducing print words and vocabulary and um, listening to rhymes and rhythm. So I'll be talking about that more another time. In the meantime, oh, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Wink your eye, that's hard to do. And give a smile. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. I'll see you another day. Adios.